Hello everybody, I'm Maria and welcome or welcome back to my nook. Today I'm going to be starting yet another reading vlog, which I am so so excited about. And yes, I know, I basically say this about every reading vlog, but this one I'm so excited about because I am so excited for this book. Sometimes I read books in reading vlogs because I want to do a video that week but this time I'm doing this reading vlog because I specifically want to read this book in a reading vlog <laughs> and the book I'm talking about is A Dangerous Collaboration by Deanna Rayborn it's the fourth book in the Veronica Speedwell mystery series I've already read the first three books obviously and I'm also already in chapter two of this book on page 20. I'm so excited to be reading this book, oh my gosh. So the thing is that the Veronica Speedwell series is about our main character Veronica and the other main character Stoker solving mysteries and like crime cases sort of each book and then there's also some romance in all the books and it's a very very slow burn romance throughout the entire series there's currently eight books out so this is basically the halfway point of the series and the thing is in the third book the romance has already been set up so oh my god it made me so excited the way the romance was beginning to develop in that book plus i've heard that the romance development in the fourth book specifically is supposed to be so good so i'm so excited for that oh my gosh honestly i have no idea what this book is going to be about because I basically go into these books blindly ever since I decided that I love the series and I want to continue it. <laughs> I, as I already said, have already read the first chapter and I'm a couple of pages into the second chapter. And so far, sorry in case the camera angle changed slightly, my battery died. <laughs> so I was saying that so far, in this book, Veronica has gone on an expedition that was like six months long and she didn't go with Stoker. We didn't really see any of that expedition because it was basically jumped over. <laughs> then she came back and apparently her relationship with Stoker is a bit iced over, I guess. Like, it's been a bit angsty so far, if I'm being honest. I can't sort of see how that might result in some good romance development, but like, I want to get to that part, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm so excited to get there. And just now, Stoker's eldest brother has come to Veronica with this proposal that there is this island on which a very very rare species of butterflies is living and like veronica is a lepidopterist lepidopterist so she's obviously interested in that and wants to see them for herself and now stoker's eldest brother is going to take veronica to that island so he can like visit some people that also live there and she can look at those butterflies and maybe take some larvae home, I think. But Stoker isn't invited and obviously he's sort of sulking about that. <laughs> so that's basically where I'm at right now and I'm so excited to get into this book, oh my gosh. There's also going to be a castle, I think, where Veronica and Stoker's brother are going to be sleeping, I suppose. It's going to be good, I hope. I hope I'm not going to be disappointed, but I hope I won't. 
And also, I do want to say that first of all, this is the first time that I'm reading a book from the Veronica Speedwell series as a physical copy because the first three I had borrowed from my library and I did buy them as physical copies later on, but I read them as ebooks. So this is the first time I'm reading Veronica Speedwell as a physical copy, which makes me so excited. And also, I decided that I want to set up a tab system with different colors for my tabs for this book which I have done for the second and third book in the series as well but I did it after reading the books once I had the physical copies this time I'm going to set it up before I start reading the book I mean not exactly but like mostly before I start reading the book and that is very exciting because it's the first time I set up a tab system like that before I start reading a book or before I finished it and it's also only the third time I ever set up a tab system like that so it's just all very exciting <laughs> and since I'm so curious to see what this book is going to be like I am going to set up the tab system now take you guys along and then continue reading Hello, I am here to give you a bit of a rating update, but first of all, don't mind my wet hair, please. I just took a shower and just hasn't dried yet. <laughs> anyway, it has been two days since I last updated you, and by now I am on page 61. I finished chapter 4 last night in A Dangerous Collaboration. And by now, Veronica and Stoker's brother have arrived on this island off the coast of England, I believe. And I think it's called St. Matterns Isle or something like that. There is a castle and everything with cliffs and beautiful scenery. The imagery of this whole castle and everything surrounding it is really so incredibly beautiful. Also, there is the fact that Stoker has also arrived on the island, <laughs> which came as a nice and annoying surprise to Veronica, I believe. But they've had a talk about something too, which I really liked. Like it wasn't exactly a pleasant talk, but I feel like it was a talk that was needed between them. So I definitely liked that that happened. And as for plot, so there's this Romilly family that owns this island, I believe, or at least they own the castle. And there's Malcolm Romilly, and he has a sister called Mertensia who like takes care of the castle gardens and she's like really passionate about it which makes for the gardens to look really beautiful as the descriptions say and then there is the widow of Malcolm's brother and her son like Malcolm's nephew basically 
So they're living in this castle and they're being the hosts of Veronica and Stoker and his brother. And apparently this Malcolm Romilly had a bride once, but apparently she disappeared on their wedding day and nobody knows what happened to her, where she went, nobody has heard from her since. And it's kind of... And it's also kind of a sore subject between the family members. So I'm very intrigued about that. I'm also curious to see whether this will be the mystery of this book because I haven't read the synopsis yet. I'm kind of just jumping into it blind and I don't know what the mystery is yet but I think that might be it but I might be wrong. I'm reading this book very very slowly. Yesterday I only read a single chapter in this book but to be fair that single chapter was like 20 pages long. These chapters are rather long. Sometimes I don't like Deanna Rayborn for doing this <laughs> but it's fine. I think I'm just kind of trying to take it slow a little or my brain and body are forcing me to take it slow because especially with these books I just sometimes can't take 80 pages into my brain in one day of these books probably because of the historical writing style I'm definitely going to try and pick up my pace a little bit because I don't want to spend too too long with this book because I've got so many other books on my TBR for this month but also I don't want to stress myself out because that will probably be counterproductive so yeah there's the update I will probably update you again once I've read a good bit in the book and yeah we'll see when that happens <laughs> today is day six and I have made quite some progress in a dangerous collaboration I am on page 160 now I just finished chapter 10 which means that I am almost 50% through the book and let me tell you I'm having a great time reading this book first of all I love the imagery and the scenery and the descriptions and the atmosphere that the island and the castle provide because just it's so beautiful but at the same time it can be so eerie and slightly creepy sometimes this castle that they're staying at has like secret passages everywhere and it's obviously an old ass castle so it's just creepy in some places and when there's a storm going on outside and the wind is howling and stuff like that it's just oh, i i love the vibe of this location that they're at and then there's also the fact that the people living on this island because there is actually a village near the castle they're rather old-fashioned they believe in a lot of myths and folklore which I also find very interesting and I'm really enjoying that for example a lot of people on the island believe that the island was formed by a giant that had wandered the sea for a long time and then settled down to sleep but he never woke up again and now this giant, this sleeping giant is just their island that they live on and stuff like that and I find that really interesting even though I might not believe in it, you know? And then there's also the fact that while investigating the case, by the way it is the disappeared bride of Malcolm Romilly as I thought it was in the last clip 
And by the way, this is also sad in the synopsis. While trying to investigate this case or this mystery, they held a seance and tried to speak to ghosts. And like, I love the vibe of this. I love just, I don't know, I'm just really enjoying this. And also the romance development. It's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. But I'm enjoying it so much and honestly, I'm so looking forward for what's to come in the next 50%. I'm so excited. It's the same evening and I just finished chapter 12. I'm on page 191 now. Also don't mind my hair please. It's late so also don't mind the lighting if it might be a little weird. But chapter 12! Chapter 12! Okay deep breath <laughs> so some things happened in chapter 12 some romance development right there was one moment that was already kind of funny but also outrageous and the end of chapter 12 made me so oh my god <laughs> like it's funny but it's also outrageous and I'm not usually one that has a lot of reactions while reading but these books get all those reactions out of me especially this one like I'm usually more of a stone-faced reader right but at the end of chapter 12 I had the strong urge to throw my book across the damn room how dare he how dare he i'm so oh my god this is honestly this is the type of stuff that i'm loving so much about these books and the type of dynamics that i love so much about veronica and stoker and now at this point i'm predicting this book to be a five star read for the romance development and the vibes of this castle and the ghostly stuff I'm just... I want to keep reading immediately but it's late so I won't <laughs> honestly that's all I wanted to tell you that's the update <laughs> I'm just so... oh man anyway See you guys tomorrow or the day after, I guess. <laughs>everybody today is day eight of reading a dangerous collaboration by Deanna Rayborn and I wanted to give you another reading update I know the last one was a bit um, dramatic <laughs> but by now I read a good bit in this book I'm now I think 84% through and I'm on page 271 it's a couple of pages into chapter 17. I'm enjoying this book so much. I've already mentioned it so many times, but I'm enjoying the romance development so much in this book. I'm enjoying Stoker and Veronica's dynamic in this book so much. Like, I'm enjoying their dynamic in every book. 
but in this book in particular chef's kiss it's so good oh my gosh and the mystery i'm enjoying it a lot i also don't really have a lot of theories on that yet i mean i'm not sure if i will be getting any before it will be solved because i am getting the feeling like we're very close to getting the whole solution to the case and the mystery even though another very urgent thing has occurred that needs to be solved <laughs> i don't think i can say much more about that but yeah i don't really have many theories about this case i do have some thoughts but there's so many possible things that could have happened to this Rosamund, the bride that disappeared, that I am not really sure. Like, I kind of think anything could have happened. And I haven't really ruled any of the possibilities out. I haven't really ruled any of the suspects out. I do have some feelings and thoughts, but... I still kind of feel like it could still be anyone or anything. And honestly, I like that. It's fun. Because, first of all, I'm kind of just falling into this book and not really thinking much about it. I'm just kind of turning my brain off and enjoying the story, which is really great. And also... It's fun in the way that I know that, or I hope that the twist and the way it is going to be solved will hopefully surprise me. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm just generally really looking forward to the last 52 pages of this book. I'm really excited and I am still predicting this to be a five star read. A lot would have to go really bad in the last few pages of this book for it to not be a five star read, honestly. But that's all my thoughts so far, if I'm being honest. But I have something else I want to talk to you about because I have received an order in the mail today and oh my gosh. I'm so happy because I ordered something from an artist and they sell like stationary products in the sense of like, okay, maybe it's not stationary products in that way, but they sell notepads and washi tape and stickers and bookmarks and I think they sell postcards as well. They had a huge shop update and with that a big sale and oh my god, I ordered so many things. <laughs> I love this shop, it's called Möhrenkunst or Möhrenkunst shop and they have an Etsy shop but also a website. I started ordering from their Etsy at first but then I discovered they have a website and now I've been ordering through their website. And I've ordered from them a couple of times because I just love their stuff. I love their art style and I love the stuff that they do. So huge shout out. Please do check them out. This time I've ordered two notepads. They have a little koala and look at him. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love these so much. I can't wait to use these for little notes or maybe honestly I might be too hesitant to use them because they're too cute to use. <laughs> I also ordered washi tape from them once again. I got this wildflower washi tape and then I got this this little bee washi tape. I already have a few bee stickers obviously in this style and i thought the bee washi tape might be complementary to that and then i also got a washi tape that i've been meaning to get for a while but i never did because i kind of always thought 
I'm already ordering so much. I can't order this washi tape as well. But now I've been thinking, I've been meaning to order this for so long and I will most probably order it at some point. So why not just order it now, for God's sake. I ordered this autumn leaf washi tape, which they have in the shop in spring and summer editions as well. I don't know about the summer edition, but I know that there's a spring leaf edition of this washi tape as well. But I just wanted the autumn leaf edition because I just love autumn and I knew I needed the autumn option. And then I also got a bunch of sticker sheets. A bunch of sticker sheets. I already have so many sticker sheets from the shop, but honestly, can you ever have enough sticker sheets from a shop that you love? I don't think so. So I got this meadow sticker sheet, which I think is really cute. And then I got this tea time sticker sheet, which I've been also meaning to get for like the longest time. And I just thought now I'm finally gonna do it. Then I got this nautical sticker sheet. And then I've got these two sticker sheets that are these flowers, one in blue and one in like yellow and orangey. They had them in, I think, white as well, but I thought these were the prettiest of them. And I got them in the two different colors because I thought I could then like mix them up a little bit and they're both really pretty, really nice colors. So yeah. I'm so happy this order got in the mail today. I'm so excited to be using these stickers. I just, I've said this enough times by now, but I love this shop so much. I love their stuff so much. And I'm so happy I have more stuff I can put in my book journal now. <laughs> As for reading update, the next one I'll probably do once I have finished the book, because I'm pretty close. Hello everybody, I am here to wrap up this vlog because I have indeed finished A Dangerous Collaboration today and as I predicted, I am going to give this book five stars. By the way, also I do realize that you have seen me in this same hoodie in almost all the clips in this vlog, but that's just because it's cold where I'm currently at and this is the only hoodie that I have at hand because I was prepared for summer, but now it's cold. But I love that, honestly. I love cold weather and I love this hoodie. So I'm wearing it as much as I want to. Anyway, I loved this book. <laughs> the romance development in this book was chef's kiss. The imagery and the scenery, the descriptions of the location this was set in, so good. The vibes and the atmosphere, amazing. I really loved the mystery. It was so interesting and intriguing and a little eerie and a bit creepy. And I really liked that. The ending was a bit... I'm not saying I didn't like it. But I read the last 52 pages of this book in one sitting today, which I don't think I've read that many pages in a single sitting in quite a long time. So maybe it was a bit much for my brain, but the ending of this book, like the whole resolution to the case and the way it was solved, weighed a bit heavy on my mind at first because that was that was a bit oof like i can't really say what it was but there were a few things that were just a bit heavy at least for me personally 
and it was also like multiple things stacked on top of each other at the end which made it a little heavier still and then there was also the fact that things weren't described in detail which i was grateful for don't get me wrong but that left space for my brain to try and fill out what wasn't described in the book and that is sometimes worse when my brain starts to do that you know <laughs> but i've given myself a bit of time to process what happened at the end of this book and i think it's fine i'm fine you know it was just a bit much at first but i definitely liked the way it ended and i just liked the mystery in general i loved the way we saw a more vulnerable side of some of the characters and the romance development i i keep saying it but it was just so good and so needed and i cannot wait to see what's in store for the two main characters in the next book i honestly kind of want to pick it up immediately but i have other books to read this month and also i think the ninth book in the series is coming out next year so i'm kind of trying to space out the books a little more so i won't have to wait too too long for the ninth book after finishing the eighth if that makes any sense but yeah, I just really love this book. As with the other books in the Veronica Speedwell series, I just really enjoy how Deanna Rayborn managed to give her characters, more so her main characters than some of the side characters, but she gave them so much depth. And sometimes it's so much about the tiniest details like for example the fact that stoker is such a sweet tooth and he always always has some candy in his pockets or that veronica sometimes picks up on the fact that stoker and his brother are so alike in the tiniest details like the way they arched their eyebrows and it's just small details like that that make the characters really feel like people instead of just ink on paper i don't know if this makes any sense sometimes authors just manage to make you feel as if you're going on a journey with people when you're reading a book instead of just reading about the adventures of characters if that makes any sense at all <laughs> but i just love the way deanna rayborn writes her characters and the way she writes the series and i love veronica and stoker so much and i just love this mix between mystery and romance and oh my god this book proved it for sure that I love this series and I'm so so excited to continue it. I also tap this book so much for my standards. I really went above and beyond <laughs> with tabbing in this book but like I'm so happy because that just tells me that I really enjoyed my time with this book and I'm just so so happy that I read this book. Another thing that I'm also really happy about and that I do want to share with you is that I finally managed to catch up a bit on my reading journal. I've been so far behind on my reading journal spreads and pages. You cannot even imagine. Like it's the beginning of August and until this week I had not even finished my june spread that's about as far behind as i have been but i finally managed to catch up quite a bit and i'm so incredibly happy about that because the more i fell behind on my reading journal the harder it was for me to just sit down and try to catch up a bit because the workload kept getting more and more 
you know, and it kept getting more and more daunting to just sit down and do some book journaling. But I finally did it a few days at a time and now the workload has gotten a little less and now it's become a little easier to sit down and catch up more with my reading journal until I'm hopefully fully caught up. I haven't filmed anything for basically this exact reason because I was so far behind that I really just wanted to put all the energy and mental space when I did have it into actually doing my reading journal instead of also trying to film so I just didn't film any of that but you will see all the spreads and pages at the end of the year because I will most probably do a reading journal flip through at the end of the year but I just wanted to share that with you <laughs> but yeah that is all I wanted to say and with that I will let you guys go I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching if you did like this video maybe give it a thumbs up and perhaps subscribe to my channel perhaps let me know down in the comments if you have read this book that I read in this reading vlog or any of the other books in the Veronica Speedwell series. If not, you can just tell me what you're currently reading or anything else you would like to let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys somewhere else on the internet or in my next video. Bye!